If equipped, the engine stop-start function can save fuel and help reduce emissions. Stop-start enables after every normal engine start and momentarily shuts the engine down when you bring the vehicle to a stop. It's environmentally smart and improves fuel efficiency. What's more, your vehicle has some key enhancements and upgrades, including a high durability engine, starter, and deep cycle battery to handle the additional engine starts. Now, certain conditions must be met before stop-start can engage. The vehicle must be completely stopped, the shifter in a forward gear, and the brake pedal depressed. The system will then automatically turn off the engine during a vehicle stop. This may take some getting used to because the tachometer will fall to the zero position and climate control airflow may be reduced. Release the brake pedal or engage the accelerator to automatically restart the vehicle. The vehicle may also start automatically to maintain cabin comfort. When the vehicle stops, a green icon on the instrument cluster lets you know stop start is active. To check system status, use the controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel to scroll to the stop start page in your instrument cluster main menu. If vehicle speed is above the minimum speed threshold and all necessary conditions are met, you'll see a stop start ready message. When stopped and the icon is green, you'll see Stop Start Auto Stop active. This is a smart system. Prior to engine shutdown, Stop Start checks many safety and comfort conditions. If the green icon does not appear at a stop, you can go to the Stop Start page in your instrument cluster to see which condition is currently preventing auto stop activation. Here are some conditions that can inhibit auto stop. The driver's seat belt is not buckled. Driver door is not closed. Cabin heating or cooling is in progress and an acceptable cabin temperature has not been reached. The transmission is not in a forward gear. The hood is open. Battery temperature is too warm or too cold. Low battery charge. Driving on a steep grade. Climate control is set to full defrost mode at high blower speed. Climate control is set to max AC. Engine has not reached normal operating temperature. Vehicle is in four low transfer case mode. Insufficient pressure on brake pedal. Engine temp is too high. Minimum speed threshold has not been met after a previous auto stop. Sharp angled steering maneuver. You may drive the vehicle several times without stop-start ever entering ready mode given more extreme conditions of the items just mentioned. Again, check out the stop-start page in your instrument cluster to find out why the system isn't ready to activate. If you encounter a stop-start issue requiring dealer service, you'll see a yellow icon when the vehicle is stopped. Remember, Stop Start turns on automatically at engine start. To turn it off manually, just push the Stop Start switch. The switch light will appear to let you know the system is off. Push the switch again to reactivate the system. The switch light will go out to let you know the system is back in automatic mode. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, Please see your owner's information.